Hey guys, Brandon here. I'm um, just going to give you a real quick lesson on The Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. Um, and a few people have done this song already, but nobody's really done it that I've seen where they put both parts together, both the parts that he's actually looping. So I'm just going to do it real quick. No frills. Get it, get it done. Get it over with. Um, you guys are smart. I'm pretty sure you'll figure it out. Um, you could just do the whole song on capo four, uh, four chords, A minor. D minor, F, or F, G, any kind of G you want. And that's the, really the whole tune. He just does those four chords the whole time. But there's this melody part that goes over the top that he's looped. It's kind of fun if you can get them both together. You know, people think it's really cool if you can do both at the same time. So um, if you're doing like, you know, part of the top of this A minor chord where you have the first fret and the second fret on the third string, first fret on the second string, if you go, you know, two, one, two, that's the melody right there. And that's three times. Last part of the melody is open second string, second fret third string, open third string. That's it. So, what I want to show you how to do is um, imply the chords underneath with that melody line. So if we take this two, one, two, and every time we hit one of those melody notes, we take our thumb and hit the A string to imply our A minor chord. Just that's it. Easy, one, two, three. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna switch and put your thumb on the open string to imply our D minor chord and then play the same melody on top. That's it. Piece of cake. So we got A string. Switch to the D string. Um, to get our F, you could do, I guess you could do the F right here on string four. That works fine. I kind of like it a little bit lower. Um, I can grab this F with my thumb because I got pretty big hands. Um, or you could try to do a bar first. There's your second fret, and then bar back here with your first finger if you're really strong. So then you would have something like this so far A string, D string. Grab this low F or the high F, and that would last one would take us to the G. G's on the third fret of our sixth string, so you'd hit, um, hold that with your second finger, use your thumb there on the sixth string, and go open second string, second fret on the third string. And then take that finger off and you have the open third string. So second string, third string, second fret, open third string. So all together it sounds like A string, D string, F, That's it, like the whole time. Um, I like to palm mute it. 
a little bit because it makes it sound more like what he's doing to me. So if you don't know palm muting, you can look up a lesson pretty easy on palm muting. Just rest your hand back here basically meets the strings a little bit. And it'll sound something like this. That's it. If you have any questions, um, just shoot me a message or let me know what songs you want me to do next. Thanks.